Good morning, good morning. Happy birthday. Welcome to the first day of the rest of your life. Um, because every day is your birthday if you choose to celebrate life every single day. And isn't it lovely to be alive? Look at this beautiful blue sky behind me. I'm actually um, moved slightly the location. There's some lovely green fields behind me, but you can't quite see them. So today we're going to be talking about um, programming our children and ourselves. I just need to blow my nose a second. But... Um, and uh, yeah, because I'm going to be interviewed this afternoon by uh, my good friend Monica uh, over in the Czech Republic. Uh, on YouTube, I think, uh, though I presume she streams it onto Facebook as well, um, uh, about this exact topic, um, which is the core of really what everything that I teach. Um, and interesting enough, today we had the um, on the Evan Carmichael video, um, well, one of them, one of the three that's on my morning page, uh, the third one down this time around, uh, is all about mindfulness and how your mind works and so forth. First part was Eckhart Tolle, and then there was a couple of other people. I didn't listen to all of it because it's 43 minutes of content. So I'm going to listen to it a little bit later on, though, because it's good stuff. Um, and, uh, and he talked about the same sort of stuff, and I've, I've touched on these subjects in the past as well. Um, and so I want to cover all those points today as to how we get programmed and how that stuff happens in ourselves and how it happens to us as well because uh, it's happened to me over the last few days uh, as those of you who've seen my last couple of stories will know um, what's happened anyway <laughs> um, and uh, it's just interesting to think about uh, how that's affected me but before we go on to that um, happy birthdays uh, just a brief one really on this one uh, we have happy birthdays too um, uh, why isn't that working? <laughs> it's always fun, isn't it? Uh, okay, two. Uh, Destiny, who is from New Zealand. She's a very cool girl. Um, uh, very uh, bubbly personality. It's lovely. Um, so, yeah, check her out. Happy birthday to you, Destiny. Um, uh, Margaret Cresswell, uh, Annette Heinzel, Stefan Schock, <laughs> Helen Young, and Nigel Windu. Um, I'm not sure how I know uh, most of you. Nigel's, I think, a uh, graphic designer in Gloucester. I think that's right. Uh, but anyway, let me know what you do in the comments below. Um, let me know uh, what we can buy from you and uh, how I know you as well. That would be fantastic for, for Margaret, Annette, um, Stephen and Helen. Helen, I think I recognise from somewhere, but I'm not quite sure where. Um, anyway, there you go. I just meet these random people sometimes online and, uh, and if we don't interact on a regular basis, I kind of forget who you are. So apologies for that. I have several thousand people on my Facebook friends list, as you know, because I do you know, four or five people every single day. There's also a big road, by the way. Motorbike going past. Good morning, Carl. Good morning, Carl. Um, right over there's a junction here and I just realised that that's actually going to be quite busy but it is you know eight o'clock in the morning so I thought it would be quite quiet but anyway there you go um, so yeah happy birthday to you guys um, what's the one thing you want to get done today blow that candle put that hand on your heart breathe in five through your nose hold it for five now we put the candles up and then blow out the candles wish them a happy birthday while well, you think about that one thing you're going to get done today and if you want to, you can do that every hour, on the hour if you like. I've got an alarm on my phone that does exactly that. Um, think about the thing that you're going to be doing in the next hour. Uh, fantastic. And it'll work on your mindfulness. Get that oxygen into your brain. Um, ideally, you want to do that five times in a row. So it's five seconds. Uh, breathe in for five, hold for five, uh, and then do that five times. That's fantastic. Hello, viewer. Another viewer. Can't see who that is yet. Um, I'm sure it'll pop up and say who's watching. Har it's Ariel. Ariel Jones. Good morning, Ariel. Um, Happy birthday to you as well, because every day is your birthday if you choose to celebrate life as we are today. Right, um, on to the main topic of the day today, um, which is uh, how we program ourselves and uh, our children. Um, actually, so this is this a little story about me, because last Wednesday, um, for those of you who haven't followed the, followed the story, all of the story, stories, I usually used to stay in a, a little play centre, play park area um, near where we are, not play centre, a little play park, like an open park with play equipment and stuff on it. Um, and sometimes there would be children around um, and I would usually be very aware, those would be watching me for a while, uh, of, to not include the children, the cameras, and sometimes it happened by accident and all that sort of stuff. Um, but um, didn't really think about anything of it. And then I had a couple of uh, people who I got chatting to uh, asked me what I did and I said oh I'll get some pieces of paper and I'll, I'll leave them here for you uh, and of course I then left those pieces of paper um, on the play equipment um, <laughs> and then uh, last Wednesday I had a visit from the police who said what are you doing hanging around um, children's parks with a camera <laughs> I'm like what <laughs> that's not what I'm doing at all um, 
And it's kind of given me, and so what's happened since then is I've been starting to churn over my mind thinking, well, how could that have happened? And, and I did a little thing the other day where I kind of showed the angle that people might have been looking at and how it might look like I was in the bushes, but actually I wasn't and all that kind of stuff. Um, and of course, we've been playing it over my mind and, um, and I actually had a dream about last night, a dream that I was in that area and for some reason I was hoovering the floor. I don't know why I was doing that. Somehow it's weird dreams happen to us, didn't they? Um, and uh, and my hoover got stuck and there was rubbish everywhere. And I told you about how the, you know, the, the, the children te- obviously go there at night uh, and eat sweets and so forth. And then... Um, <laughs> um, somebody coming through the gate had just closed on them. Um, uh, yes, and they leave um, mess, mess behind, uh, and then I usually tie you all up and put you in the bin. Uh, after, after I've been there, um, and obviously I was hoovering up the mess, and that's what's going on subconsciously in my mind. Uh, and then, but I, well, then I realised that I've been really struggling with my morning routines now because I've kind of got into this routine of going to that park every morning and doing the video and recording and so forth. And now I've got to try and find different places to go, and it's been sort of awkward. And, and I've been kind of not doing my morning routine because I've been thinking, oh, I don't really want to go and figure out where I'm going to do the... You know. But what I realised this morning when I was listening to um, that video from uh, Evan Carmichael, Record Tolly, as it were, um, was that I was not listening to my own advice because I was... My head, I was churning over these thoughts and I was programming them and I was thinking about it over and over and over again in my head. And I know we all do this sort of stuff. I was beating myself up and, and, and analysing it, over-analysing it. Um, and of course, what I'm doing is I'm embedding in my head uh, this negative thought, these uh, these mi- bad thoughts, not unhelpful thoughts, should we say, um, for for me as a person, um, rather than just letting it go and moving on, as the uh, as the lady in uh, Frozen says, "Let it go, let it go," and all that kind of stuff. Um, so that's good stuff. Um, by the way, give me feel free to give a thumbs up and lo- love if you're if you're watching and enjoying the content. Um, I'm a hashtag replay. If you're watching the replay as well, that'd be fantastic. So well, cool. So yeah, so I needed to be aware of these thoughts, and that's what I became aware this morning. So I always talk about how we can become ace, A C E. What's that now? A A C E. Where we have to become aware of our thoughts, recognise that we're having these thoughts and what's going on, and and how they're affecting us in our day-to-day basis, and then make choices. So A C C for choices. Uh, make choices to make different decisions, different cho- different. Uh, activities, different things that we're going to do in our lives, and then put effort over time. So that's the E, the effort, effort over time to reprogram our brains for positivity instead of negativity. Um, and um, because that's what's happening. So what I, what's hap- been happening over the last week is I've been programming my brain to remember this negative uh, situation that's happened to me, uh, and I've been programming sort of negativity around it. Uh, and I can, you can feel it embedding in my mind and going, ah, oh, this is a memory I'm never going to forget now because I've thought about it so often. Um, and the trouble is that we, we as human beings have this tendency to think about negative things on a regular basis because we're wired to look for danger and to try and keep ourselves safe, of course. Um, and, and so that's what, that's what happens and that's how it works. Uh, but we can choose, that's the C of ACE, um, choose to think different thoughts um, and focus on different things uh, and rewire our brain for more positivity instead of negativity. Um, and uh, so that's what I've now got to do is I've now got to put an effort over time to rewire, rewrite those uh, those thoughts. Uh, in fact, I usually talk, talk about how um, we rewrite a path. Actually, I'll do it. I'll do it in a little bit. There's, there's, there's kind of a cool path over there, and I, I'll show you that in a minute. Um, about how we embed these thoughts in our brains and how they become embedded and then eventually become concrete paths and uh, and then it becomes real effort to uh, to overcome them uh, and the sooner we can sh- shut down those um, those negative thoughts and reprogram positivity the better and that's what happens with our children so <laughs> sorry <laughs> for those people who are watching and waiting for me to talk about children and how, how we program our children um, I don't know these things are random thoughts this is why I say come on my programs and this all this stuff is a little bit more laid out and set out uh, in uh, in a structured order uh, rather than these thoughts what I do in the mornings which are sort of random collections of things that have come together in my life and so forth um, so yeah so we have zero ages zero to three we have these imprinting years and I'm going to be talking about this a bit more uh, with Monica this afternoon 
uh, if you want to look out for that. So these zero to three years are our imprinting years. These are babies that just they've completely clean mind. They're, they're all perfect. And, uh, nothing. They've got no negativity. They've got no beliefs. They've got no impressions. They've got no uh, fears, uh, no judgments, any of that stuff uh, as, a, as a baby's growing up. And then they start to get imprinted by the parents and the activities is going on around them. So you know babies are looking around going, oh, what's going on? What's happening? Where's mummy? And all that kind of stuff. Where's food? And um, trying to figure things out and they're trying to work the world out in those imprinting years uh, zero to three uh, where we kind of embed the sort of beliefs and the actions and the way the world works and how things will operate ar operate around the house um, and then of course we get our modeling years from sort of four to seven um, when we start to uh, copy other people uh, and you'll see children do this they'll copy mom and they'll copy the friends and they'll do this sort of stuff and they'll start talking to themselves as well and they'll start telling themselves what they're doing they'll uh, i'm going to do this over here i'm going to move this over here i'm going to move this thing over here and then this player this person's going to be playing with this, talk out loud they talk out loud when they're discussing what they're doing and then they have their experience years which is all seven to twelve um, and that's when they actually start to experience life things start to happen to them they go out on their own uh, a little bit more a little bit less mum around and dad around of course parents around um, uh, and they start to experience it, so they'll fall over, they'll hurt their knee, and they go, oh, what do I do? There's nobody around to help me, I'm going to have to figure it out for myself. Um, and uh, and they start to learn what's good. They'll start to learn, for instance, that barbed wire is, is bad <laughs> to get <laughs> stick your hand on, which is what I just did over there, um, and, uh, and stuff like that, and that stinging nettles will sting you, um, and <laughs> things like that. Um, and the hot pan, don't touch hot pans. Um, that's, that's what happens in sort of 7 to 12 years old. But also what happens, you internalise that voice. So you stop talking out loud to yourself about what you're doing and you start to internalise that voice as well. So that becomes your inner voice inside your head um, that then starts to, because you start realising that talking out, out loud to in front of other people makes you look a bit weird. Um, and nobody else is doing it. So why, am I, why should I be talking outside, uh, out loud to myself like I'm doing right now, talking to myself? <laughs> you do feel a bit odd, don't you? Um, have you ever walked down the street with your um, earphones on on the phone to somebody and you're chatting away to somebody um, and you feel a bit weird because we're all like that whole thing about uh, talking to the voices inside your head we all now do it with our voices inside our heads now don't we when we're talking to people on the phone as we're walking along the street um, <laughs> we do look a bit crazy to anybody looking from the outside although everybody else knows what's happening now um, and as soon as we start to become aware of these thoughts that we have inside our heads and we start to recognize that we all have them um, these are the things that make us decide and, do, and, and make choices um, then um, we can become more aware of them and then we can make better choices uh, and then over time we can reprogram those negative thoughts uh, into better thoughts uh, and, uh, and change those beliefs that have caused us such problems over the years. Is he coming in here? Looks like he's coming in here. Yeah, he's coming in. Um, so yeah, that's... Uh, uh, um, uh, yeah, so that's it. That's how it happens as children. Um, we get ourselves programmed. Um, by accident, by our people, our parents, our peers, our teachers, our environment, our societies, all program our children to behave in certain ways, believe certain things, um, and uh, we have a choice as to how we want those to be perceived. Right, okay, back to programming, because I've only got about a minute left or so. Um, I've got a car coming up here, walking down the street. Right, so, and this car's come past, and we flick over. Check out that road over there. There we go. See, there's a path coming past here. There's a car coming past. Um, okay, so you see this path over here. So people are walking down here along this path and they're walking around the corner. Of course, that's the shortest distance along the path there, but it gets really muddy in the winter. And there's only another, the only other way around it is all the way around the outside here. Now, somebody could build a path along there and make it all fixed and, 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 uh, and uh, like concreted so that people could walk on it. Um, or they can put up signs saying don't walk on the grass um, but it's all a choice as to how we want to um, and that's like the break the part I'm trying to say is that's the it's like the, 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 the paths in our brain uh, they get embedded uh, and they become the easy path the easy way to go um, and we have to make those paths difficult if we want to change that path if we want to take a different route we have to put up fences and blockages and signs to ourselves to say don't go this way don't do this don't repeat this function don't think this thought um, and that's the choices that's the choices that we make uh, and then the effort over time is to force yourself to go the long way around um, just for a little bit uh, until the until eventually the long way around becomes the easy way around so there you go that's my little lesson of the day hope you all enjoyed it um, and uh, we'll see where I'm going to be tomorrow <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> take things from there take care guys bye have a nice uh, 
whatever day it is today, I've completely lost track of what day it is. Wednesday, Thursday? Thursday, I think. All right, bye for now.